A massive new mod has just released out of nowhere for Juno. This is a seriously impressive mod. This is Space Race by Oxeter. This mod basically adds modded RSS career mode for Juno. It's really well made, and I am seriously impressed by it, especially considering this literally came out of absolutely nowhere. So before I show you what's in the mod, let me show you how to download it. As of the release of the video, the mod isn't on the website yet, but I've put the link in the description to the GitHub page, and all you need to do is click on the latest releases here, and then click on the Space Race and Career downloads, and it will download both of those files. First of all, you need to put the spacerace.sr2 into the mod folder. Then you need to go to this file path and paste the career zip and unzip it, and it should be in here now and unzipped. Once you've done that, you need to make sure you have the Juno Harmony mod downloaded. It's on the website. And of course, put that in the mods folder as well. After you've done that, hop into the game. You want to go into the mods menu, enable the Juno Harmony mod first. You have to enable it first or this won't work because it's a dependency. And then you can enable the Space Race mod. Once you've done this, you'll want to download Hyperpatch's Solar System 2.1 or RSS. It's on the website in the Solar System section. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. And once you've got all that loaded up, you want to create a new system. In the career mode section at the bottom, you want to select the space race mode. Then go into the sandbox tab and select the Solar System 2.1. Once you've done this, you can name your career mode and you can create it. And now the whole mod should be set up and you should have the career mode enabled. So what does this mod add? Well, many things, and it works very similar to how the career mode works in the current version of stock. You have a fully custom tech tree here, and this goes through the entire US tech tree timeline. It features many different tech tree nodes. These all do different things, and it will all become apparent as to what these actually do when I explain the more complex parts of this mod. For example, there are limited engine relights on all of the engines, as far as I know. Next, if we go into the career tab, we can see that there is different missions here with the NASA logo on them. For example, some of the missions are to actually build launch sites for the Space Center, which is really awesome. Next, if we go into the building menu, we can see that there are many different custom parts. For example, there is a V2 avionics unit, meaning you can build a V2. You can see the V2's engine as well here, the A4. When we look at the engine, we can see many different things. For example, amount of relights, all the different custom fuels, custom nozzle cooling systems. And these all affect the engines in different ways, and it's really awesome how much detail there are in these engines. If we also select a fuel tank, we can see we can make the fuel tank out of different materials, and this basically changes the weight and the amount of fuel they can hold, as well as the cost. And oh, something I forgot to mention completely is if we go into the build menu, there is actually also custom launch pads. Those are really awesome looking. We can also head to quote unquote the space center. And this is really cool. When we go to the space center, we can actually see the space center location, kind of like KSP. It's really awesome. And whilst I haven't really played this career mode yet, I assume when you build different buildings, we'll actually be able to see the buildings from this view, which will be really cool. There are many, many, many other complexities to this. For example, we can see there are different things like we can have numbers of technicians. The technicians have salaries. There's like a stage configuration thing in the build menu. You can do weird funding things with all the different companies from the eras, such as Rocketdyne, for example. This mod is seriously amazing right now. I cannot believe it just came out of nowhere without a warning and I probably will be doing some streams on this mod I hope if it goes well and if people want me to. And I'm pretty sure this mod was made by only one person which is absolutely insane by the way. So massive congrats to Oxeter for making such an amazing mod. If they do post it on the website I will definitely add a link to it in the description so you can upvote it and such. And this is what we need in Juno, we need to support these mods because they are absolutely amazing and I think they're carrying the game right now if I'm being honest. So. We need to really support these mods and make sure that they are inspiring people to make more mods, in my opinion. So with that said, I would like to thank the members Karnasa, Pedro, Reknarek and Adamcat for supplying the funding for the music you can hear during this video. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.